in general with all breeds, if you take the uterus out, there's no chance of a uterine infection. So pyometra, uterine infection, is one of the big discussion points that comes up. Right. Uh, now, to have an infected uterus, though, you need to have reproductive hormones stimulating the uterus. So that's why taking the ovaries out, so not talking about goldens now, right. but other breeds, Yes. Um, taking the ovaries out can absolutely eliminate the risk of a uterine infection, which isn't intuitively obvious because there's still a uterus there. Why couldn't it get infected? But they just don't. Mm. The reason that a uterus gets infected in a, in a dog, in a female dog, is that because they have multiple exposures to estrogen and progesterone as they go through different mm -hmm. cycles through their lifetime. The glands grow, and if they don't get pregnant, they don't fully regress. Mm. And each time they go through a cycle, the glands get bigger and bigger, and eventually mm. they become cystic. Side note question on that then. This is because I remember that Dr. Davidson at that UC Davis seminar years and years ago, it's, it was, uh, to me, it was, there were a lot of readers who were surprised to hear her say, if the dog is healthy and she's emotionally healthy, you've done a you know, physical, she should be bred back to back. And is that, that's the reason why? Is that's, those plans. That is, I would say that is probably the prime reason why. Okay. That helps. I didn't, I didn't understand yeah. why, but okay. Yeah. yeah. A healthy uterus is a pregnant uterus. Hmm. And vice versa, pregnant hmm. uterus is a healthy uterus. Okay. Okay. So pregnancy leads to health in the uterus because when those puppies are born and the placentas are shed, there's a lot inner lining. There's a portion of the uterus, the endometrium, that comes out hmm. with the placenta, and then that those areas then regenerate, and it's new tissue, fresh oh, tissue. That's so interesting. And okay. if there's no pregnancy, she goes through cycles. She's either not bred or she's bred but doesn't get pregnant. Those glands are there to support a pregnancy that's non-existent, and there's no puppies to be born. There's no placentas to shed, so that lining doesn't get shaved off, doesn't get shed. It just stays there, oh. and then it regresses, but sometimes and often it doesn't regress fully. And then she has another cycle, and so she's not starting from baseline. Mm. She's already starting from not fully back to normal hmm. and growing the glands again. And so eventually they become cystic. They're not functioning properly. And it sets up an environment where bacteria can get in and, and cause an infection because it's an oh. abnormal environment okay. with, the back, with the secretions of the glands not being normal. They're not regressing. And so pyometra isn't from an outside agent. It's actually from what's happening inside the uterus. Well, it is caused by bacteria that come from the outside in. But the reason why the bacteria can set up shop and, and mm -hmm. exploit the area, become an infection, is because of the environment that is there because of the repeated exposure to the hormones. So it's very uncommon, not impossible, because there are all sorts of biological variations and different ways things can happen. But it's uncommon for a young bitch to get a pyometra. To see it younger than three years is pretty uncommon hmm. and usually they're like five or six or older hmm. okay that and, makes sense and that's because they've been through yes. multiple cycles okay and so they have that system. and usually hmm. it's bitches that have not been pregnant hmm. or been pregnant like once right okay. Okay. it's not a bitch that's been pregnant multiple times so yes breeding back to back as long as the bitch is in good body condition as long as she handled the first pregnancy well and she's had time to recover and she's doing well health wise hmm. yeah Absolutely. Wow. Read, okay. her, read her back to back. There's no problem there. And that is a reason why. So back to the question then of a pyometra in general, if it's not a breeding bitch, then just removing the uterus will remove that chance of pyometra.